So intermittent fasting is all the rage right now, but what about prolonged fasting? Is it safe? What are the benefits? In today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you might want to consider doing prolonged fasting in addition to intermittent fasting. Hi, I'm Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So ideally, this t-shirt here should say eat less often. Eating less is definitely important when you're trying to lose weight, but eating less often is even more important. So that brings us to today's topic of prolonged fasting. So intermittent fasting, which a lot of people are doing nowadays, is basically eating during a restricted time period. So in other words, you're only eating lunch and dinner between say a period of time like 12 to 8 or something like that. Or maybe you're eating breakfast and lunch and skipping dinner, but you're eating in a time restricted period and that's basically it. But prolonged fasting is when you're going without food for longer periods of time than say 24 hours. So it's not something that you're going to want to do all of the time, obviously, because we do need to eat. But there are lots of benefits from doing prolonged fasting, either every now and then, or if you have a lot of weight to lose, you might want to consider doing it more on a regular basis, especially in the beginning. So one of the first questions I get from patients is, is it safe? Because people think, oh my God, I'm not eating. I'm going to be starving and I'm going to be in starvation mode, but it's actually not true. Once you get used to it and you know how to do it properly, it is actually very safe and very effective. and you will not die without food, okay? We, we all have enough stores of body fat on us for the most part that we can go long periods of time without eating. So the next question is, well, is it effective? Yes, it's effective for various reasons. So one of the main reasons people might wanna do a prolonged fast is for obvious reasons like weight loss, and it definitely can help a lot for that. But there's another reason, believe it or not, fasting is great as a therapeutic tool it enhances something called autophagy, which is basically our bodies regenerating our own cells and cleaning out old proteins so the body can rejuvenate itself. And this has very therapeutic effects for many different chronic diseases. So it goes just beyond the weight loss. There's lots of other benefits besides that, and autophagy is the main one. So let's see, how do I get started? So I would say if you're just, if you're new to fasting overall, intermittent fasting and beyond, I would say start with shorter periods of time. So first do intermittent fasting and see if you can handle that on a regular basis. Then you might want to consider going a little bit longer without eating. Now I'm not, that's not to say that if you're strong minded and you're, you have a lot, to, a lot of weight to lose, you could go right into it if you really wanted to. But for the average person just starting out, you might want to consider doing it longer and longer over time. So in other words, work your way up to a 24 hour fast. If that was no problem, then you might want to work your way into a 48 hour fast. And if you're still feeling pretty good, you might even want to consider going up to 72 hours. Okay. And during this time, obviously you're not eating any food, but you're going to be drinking liquids, mostly water. Okay. But the key here is you're going to be using electrolytes in your water because to go that long a period of time, your body's gonna lose a lot of water naturally, and you're gonna have to replace the electrolytes that are lost. So that's really, really critical that you get enough salt, especially from sea salt, not from refined salt, but make sure you're using sea salt. And if you're going beyond 24 hours, you may also wanna consider adding potassium to the electrolyte mix as well. You don't really have to worry about any other things like magnesium and calcium and things like that. It's basically the salt and the potassium that are important, especially for the longer periods of time, okay? So how do you gauge how long you should go and when you should stop? It's gonna vary from person to person. Some people are able to do it and they feel better and better the longer they fast, their mind becomes very clear and they feel really good and they can do it for long periods of time, but then other people are gonna have problems and hit a wall and then they're gonna have to stop. So there's a lots of ins and outs of it, but in general, I just want people to know that it is safe, it is effective. Now, there are some caveats here. If you're on certain types of medication, you may have to consider talking to your doctor first because the fasting will change things for you, and if you're on medications, that might interfere. Um, even with diabetics, which fasting is great for overall, if you're taking a medicine that's lowering your blood sugar, and then the fasting on top of that is lowering your, your blood sugar even more, your meds might have to be modified. So speak to your doctor, unless you know how to do it yourself, which I don't recommend, but speak to someone about how to do that properly 
so that your blood sugar levels don't go too low or too out of control. So those are some of the main reasons to do it and some of the benefits. Have you guys tried it? Let me know in the comments. What's the longest fast you've done? Um, are you considering doing it sometime soon? Um, I would love to know. Um, for me, I'm gonna be doing a longer fast at the beginning of the year and I'm gonna put the challenge out to my Facebook group. So if you wanna join my Facebook group, there's a link below. It's called Fast Track to Weight Loss where we share stories and inspiration on both the ketogenic diet, low carb eating, intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting. So if you wanna join the group, that would be awesome. And we're gonna do a weight loss and uh, I should say fasting challenge at the beginning of the year. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do and like and comment below and I will see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.